We come into the mouth of the Mediterranean about five or ten miles out away from land. There's a big explosion. You've never seen so many GIs in the water that all your life. And we went as fast as we could, and we picked up as many as we could. We headed, we headed for Oran, Algiers, in the Mediterranean. We got rid of all the Germans, I guess, and we headed back over through Algiers, over the mountain, and we come down, and we was in Tunisia. When units of the 1st Armored came ashore at Oran in northern Tunisia, November 8, 1942, to challenge the Nazis' hold on North Africa. The British were there first, and they cleaned the enemy out of Egypt and Libya. And here, both, both armies are fighting, and the Germans are in the middle. Our objective was to hold Castrine Pass. There was two passes, Fayed Pass and Castrine Pass. Well, they snuck around Fayed Pass and, and cut us down. We got chewed up pretty bad. We landed on Anzio Beach. And from what, what I've learned, we got within 15 miles of Rome before the Germans found out and they shoved us back within, you know, 15 miles around from any corner of the, where the, the Anzio Beach was. Every major battle, we defeated, we defeated the Germans and on up the boot. One of the majors hollered at me. He said, Jones, he said, we want you to get in that plane you're going back to Naples. You're going home. And then other guy says, yeah, that's pretty good, Jones. He was in the Marines, and he's the one that never come back. He got killed on Okinawa because they were shooting at the this way and they come back they come back around on the side of them and they had to reverse they had to turn themselves and yeah what I understand is that the major, the major said that your brother was shot twice in the neck you know two shells said he never knew what hit him and that's that makes me feel good.